What is up guys, Rice Vlogs back with another video. Thanks for clicking on the link and checking things out. Today I got a little surprise for all you guys. Uh, it's a little bit of a reveal of a brand new car that I picked up. It's not brand new anymore. Uh, me and my girlfriend actually just got back from a road trip. We went to Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, um, and then just kind of made our way back through Kentucky, Indiana, Chicago, and then back to Wisconsin, where we're at now. So uh, it was a good little like week-long trip. We did some exploring, checked out some different areas, did some beaching, did some city life. Uh, just kind of had a feel for everything. Oh, and we also went out to some waterfalls and stuff in Tennessee. So it was a really good, well-rounded trip. Um, and it went really well. We were in the brand new car, so I got to really get a feel for it and enjoy it for a good about 3,500 mile trip um, or about 3,000, somewhere around there. So it was a really good long trip. Um, we're back home safe now. And I got some parts in the mail already for this brand new build too. Um, but I'm not going to actually show you guys those yet today. I'll show them in another video when I actually install them. But today I'm just going to do a little review of the car. And we're going to give the car a wash because it just drove 3,000 miles in uh, various different conditions of rain, you know, warm weather, and uh, just, you know, had some sand from the beach and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what I got going on and uh, show you the new build. So, without further ado, let's get it. Alright guys, so this here is a 22 Corolla hatchback. Um, I picked this up then, like I said, about probably two or three weeks ago now. Uh, so it's fairly new to me yet. It's just the fact that we took it on that long um, road trip that it's actually got 3,000 some miles on it now. So it is getting up there already, as it seems, you know, with a new car only having one mile when I picked it up to uh, how many miles it has now. But definitely a pretty sweet car. Um, I know it's not the fastest car, it's not the most tuner enthusiast, you know, car, but it is still definitely a great car for the bang for your buck, and it's just good looking and everything else, and I did end up picking up a six-speed manual, as you guys can see, right here, there it is, six-speed manual, and uh, I ended up getting the SE, so the interior is all black which is exactly what I wanted. Um, black headliner, black seats, literally everything is black. So that's what I wanted for an interior, at least. A um, little bit of like silver accents, but other than that, everything is black. Because the XSE, um, there was a black option with that, but then there was also only available where I am in my region, was this white accent on top of the doors. Um, through here was like a two-tone white and then the seats were leather with like a white um, Print of some sort in here on the seats, and I didn't really want that. I wanted all black um, Also, I didn't care to have leather seats. I like the cloth seats. They're just something I prefer um, And then heated seats would have been an option with the leather, but obviously I didn't get it So I don't have that, but I didn't end up getting some um, OEM roof racks with this in the OEM spoiler upgrade um, in the back here which definitely helps make this car look a lot more aggressive from the factory um, and the roof racks I'm actually going to be taking off today after I wash them because as you can see they're filthy right now like they're just black you know almost like a tar um, you know residue from the road and stuff you can see where the um, cargo box was sitting on there where it's clean compared to the rest and there's bugs and stuff so we did have this cargo box 
actually on top during our trip. Um, so I'm going to wash this too. There's some bugs and stuff all over it on the front, stuff like that. So wash this today. Got a few of our stickers from the road trip you guys can see. Panama City Beach, uh, St. Andrews State Park, Atlanta Botanical Garden, and Rock Island State Park. So kind of in our order of where we stopped on our way back basically. Shot straight to uh, Pensacola, Panama City area, and then worked our way down to Atlanta and then Tennessee. So definitely was a good trip. But uh, without further ado, you know, you guys see the build. Um, this thing is pretty stock how it sits right now, but it's going to come a long way. Um, I do have quite a few things in store for this. Definitely some nice little upgrade um, engine wise parts. I got some cosmetic parts for the front and rear coming, um, some more engine, you know, exhaust system, stuff like that, and then uh, probably some wheels, tires, suspension, things along that line. Get this to a nice, solid, dailyable, um, nice looking build. Because right now, I mean, it's a definitely an aggressive looking car with some nice body lines, nice paint job, things like that. But um, it just, you know, still looks so, so stock and and boring looking with this 16 inch wheel set up from the factory and you know terrible wheel gap and everything else so we're gonna make this thing look sick probably get some side skirts for it front lip things of that sort so I did throw some tin on this already um, I got that like a couple days after I got it this is actually a 35% um, but you can still kind of see through there's reflection in certain lighting like right now but if you really got close you'd be able to see inside you can see the seat there. So not that dark, but definitely uh, nice enough of an upgrade to have, you know, especially at night and stuff so you can't see inside the car. But yeah, I'm gonna clean this thing. There's definitely tons of residue on it from the road, um, bugs and all that kind of good stuff. So I went and picked up actually um, a bit of a detailing setup here. Picked up a clay bar kit. Uh, picked up some rags and stuff like that some scrubs and stuff and I also picked up this chemical guys um, detailing kit from Walmart actually so it was like 40 bucks or 30 bucks something like that uh, just figured good bucket some good material in there um, the catch like the dirt catch tray stuff like that just a nice little thing to have because Unfortunately, where I'm living right now, we don't have like a solid hose set up right now where I can hook up my pressure washer and give this a good pressure washing. So I need to have a solid setup for, you know, hand washing it. So I just went and picked up some of the material that I would need and now I can actually hand wash this thing nice. So yeah, let's get right into it and wash this thing. All right, guys. So as you can see, this thing is shining back to how it was the day I got it. Just so shiny right now. You can see the reflection. I mean, the paint is obviously still brand new, so it's really easy to keep clean and clean up right now. Um, it just sucks that I did endure some permanent damage as of right now. Um, let's see if this will focus. Come on. Oh, it did for a second. But yeah, you can see that black speck right there. Uh, right there. Yep, right there. That is a chip. Right next to it's a chip. So unfortunately, those are good to go, or, you know, not good to go, but they're as is for now. Um, same thing on this quarter. We got some damage there, some rock chips, black shining through, a black bumper. So that kind of sucks. Um, there's a little bit here too, as you can see. So that's all. Unfortunately, the brunt of it, there's a few rock chips on the, the actual right there. And right there. So those are on the hood of the car. Um, but other than that, it's actually pretty good. We did run over. Unfortunately, I couldn't really dodge it, but a shredded tire so it was basically the whole top tread of a tire was all laid flat on the road car ran it over in front of me and then it came up kicked up right in front of me 
hit the face of the car and then wrapped underneath and I was pretty bummed out about that but luckily there's actually not much damage besides a few chips um, even the paint it there was like a, a bunch of scratching that looked like it was here on the bumper and stuff um, there is a little bit of black here that's surface from the bumper and then uh, there's another piece like that down here kinda um, can't really see that one on camera but this is the main one here uh, so that kind of sucks too but I think that's the main thing that happened with that is that chipped right there a little bit and scratched um, but other than that the scratching and stuff actually came right out it just buffed right out so it must have just been uh, kind of more like a residue that got left behind um, but other than that the car did really good for a 3,000 mile road trip across the four or five states so I'm happy with how the car's still looking pretty clean actually it came out really shiny and nice so I'm happy with that um, and video is just not gonna ever really do it justice in this instance it just looks so clean in person but yeah that pretty much sums up this video guys um, so let me know what you guys think you know let me know if you want to see more videos like this I wasn't really able to do much because it's kind of hard to set up the camera in the right spots and then actually get to like cleaning and everything but this is actually just a quick cleaning um, and it could have been faster if I had like an actual hose and stuff like that but um, I'm working with what I got for now and I still did a really good job of cleaning it up so thanks for checking out the video guys like I said um, this is the brand new build so hopefully you guys like it and you look forward to where it's going to be in the next you know couple weeks honestly but um, I'll make videos and put them out probably once a week um, so as the parts come in and stuff like that so you won't see everything right away um, but yeah it's definitely going to be transformed I'll do some before and after obviously two of this but this is the introduction of this car and um, hopefully you guys like it and make sure you comment down below what you think and um, yeah we'll see you guys on the next one peace